Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, where you come for the crypto neo news, education, and opportunities. My name is Lucas. And my name is Ryan. And we're going to talk about an amazing update. In fact, we even have it right up here, secret updates, because we love to talk about the latest and greatest happening on the secret network, the premium layer one smart contract platform with privacy embedded. So no intermediaries, no layer twos, you have privacy built into layer one security, which allows for applications. We've talked about alter mail. We've talked about Jackal DAO, data storage and secret NFTs. We have a whole playlist dedicated to secret NFTs. Why? Because with private metadata and the privacy features, there are things you can do. They can do everything that an Ethereum NFT can do or EVM compatible NFT and more. If you're new to right. blockchain, new to crypto, and you're just getting started, you're early. There, This is just the beginning for so much. And heck, for your secret journey, we got a playlist for you. How to start your secret crypto journey, download a Web 3.0 wallet, the basics. We have tutorials to walk you through sending, receiving, staking, even picking validators. And we've got some more news on some validators in ways you can directly help support and grow the community. Because that's what we're about, participation, participation in DeFi. What do you think, Ryan? I mean, is it kind of like it goes with the... Kind of important. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you, it's rewarded. Let's put it that way. Participation is rewarded. Well, for a while, we've talked about providing liquidity. We've got videos and walkthroughs, DeFi, crypto explainers, and tutorials. And, you know, there are, like you said, airdrops and opportunities in the IBC and on Secret Network guaranteed moving forward that if you participate and you participate in governance, you're staking, provide liquidity, you will 100% guaranteed receive multiple airdrops from different various blockchains. Now, right. Okay. Uh, IBC, but today we... Yeah, yeah. Let's jump. In. Let's show the IBC before we get break the news because that's right. important to establish. Right. So about. this is the inner blockchain communication uh, ecosystem. All of these are blockchains. They're independent blockchains, but they're all are compatible with each other, and you can you can swap from one to the other through a single wallet without having to go to an intermediary or, or an exchange. Uh, or we Osmosis, you know, handles it. But you can also do IBC transfers, you know, right there in the wallet. Um, beyond that, uh, there, this is a developing ecosystem. I mean, there's some of the coolest things in blockchain are happening here. And part of it is this cooperation across chain. You see the airdrops, you know, on new chains will be added. They'll, you'll have an airdrop of a token and you'll be, you'll be given a new token for, for uh, staking or for activity or participation that you did on a completely separate blockchain. So this inner inner communication between the blockchains is just really novel, and along that's kind of an, a segue into the news that we have today. Let's go into uh, it's, it. it. Yeah, let's jump into it. This tweet came across the wire, and we had to share it with you because it's huge, and we'll read it. So soon, all SNP twenty tokens will become IVC compatible. You won't need to do anything; just keep on building. And so, what does that mean? Okay, well, SNP twenty is the is the is the standard that the secret secret, the wrap secret, the privacy layer on secret, that's what that's what that refers to. So now uh, your secret secret or any of the others, they will be compatible across the entire IBC, which is huge. That brings privacy across the IBC. Absolutely. SNP20 is the, is the equivalent, if you're familiar with Ethereum, ERC20. It's the secret version of that. Asaf Marami is... Um, Make sure you follow him on Twitter. He is a blockchain engineer and he is a bad Asaf Marami because he builds and does a lot for the community and for the network. This is huge. Make sure you follow him and give him some love and some support, some gratitude. You could just, you know, send some good vibes right now and some thanks because this is allowing for when you say SNP 20 tokens are IBC compatible, that means that. When you go to Juno Swap, when you go to Osmosis, and we've done videos on these I, IBC DEXs and AMMs, when you go to some others, they're building a, compatible on Luna Terra as well, Astroport and, and Terra Swap. Not only right now, when you go to Osmosis, you check out their assets. Right now, when you check out their assets, you see other blockchains, Adam, right. Luna, 
This will secret. Do- now you do see Netta, the only uh, token, I think outside of a blockchain that you see other than, but now you're going to see not just secret, but a whole slew of, and every new SNP that becomes developed on secret will also be compatible just the same because it's on the right. same language. So Legend DAO, the Legend token, CFI, secret swap, Sienna swap, uh, Sienna network, Sienna shade, silk, alter, Jackal Dow, Button, Butt Token, Amber, Dava, and S Dow. Need to do my research. Um, right. Yeah, there's so much development happening. And this is just the latest and greatest. Big, big value added. This is huge because. Yeah, definitely. Like you mentioned in the beginning, this is the privacy token of Secret Network. The native token for staking and support of the validator is a public chain. This is the private side. So allowing SNP 20 tokens to go directly on to Juno swap or osmosis. Right. It allows for more liquidity, more access from other networks and other chains to be able to come into the secret network ecosystem. Sure. It also allows for secret to branch out and expose, you know, the privacy side to others as well. Right. I mean, obviously, exactly. when you bridge over to Juno and Osmosis, that will be a public version because you need to be on right. Secret for the privacy. However, exactly. it's it that's okay because Secret's about having the option of privacy or public. There are uh, many people that operate on the public side of these networks and chains, and it's going to sure. directly expose them to these privacy applications that's what i was trying to say these privacy applications well, alter mail what i would say that. is it makes it makes those privacy uh tokens it brings utility to them right whereas before they had a, a, a limited use case on secret you know within that ecosystem now they have a, they have a, a ability to be used across the ibc and, and, and vice versa and to bring, you know, and to swap from one to the other. Right. So it, it creates a much, it creates more liquidity and utility for, for the privacy tokens. Absolutely. Okay. One more quick alfalfa drop, kind of a big deal. Secret labs update scaling secret. We've talked about the shockwave. There have been other updates that we haven't ma- had time to make videos on because there's just so much growth. And this is just such an innovative, just great time to be a part of the IBC and secret network. But Guy, the founder of Secret Network, had just he just posted an article explaining about a lot of the improvements that they're making and that they have made to uh, continue to help for mass adoption to help with scalability. Right. I mean, we continue to say, don't complain about internet on the airplane when they're first developing technology. Many people right. who come into crypto and they 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 you know they launch nft projects on a new chain or we're going to cover we cover airdrops when people are doing innovative new ways of airdropping cross chain it's it's free not free money but these are these are marketing these are given away these are gifts that are being given out and so it's good to practice patience and understand that when you plant a tree and you know it's a mango tree you don't get upset that you don't have mangoes after the first year or the second year or the third year you recognize it takes time you continue to take it takes time and um a soft well it shows and it's others, a, they're adding value they, they know that there's development taking place and that there's this long roadmap that you just have to let time unfurl and let the, let the builders build and development take place and the hardware the capital right. the capital needs to be there Sure. And it's also, you know, these, these airdrops are like little tests for this, for the network too. They kind of expose where some of the gaps are and what, what some of the issues, the remaining unsolved issues are. So it's going to take, like you said, it takes time to, to figure these things out. And, um, but, but just the idea that we have privacy on-chain privacy at, at, you know, at a foundational level in the code Mm -hmm. and to be able to have that option and to be able to mint, you know, NFTs and, various other things without um with private metadata without you know perverts watching every every move that is huge it's 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 internet on the airplane like you say so uh yeah i'm i think patience is the is the watchword and it's great to see you know development and continued uh continued innovation to solve some of these issues 
Here are some of the upgrades so far. Query nodes, being able to see balances during high traffic NFT mint times that when, when high traffic jams mm -hmm. up, uh, being able to view and well, the query, the nodes. Im improved infrastructure for Kepler, integration for secret network, on-chain proposals to better control block, time, block times, and adjusting gas prices in Kepler. So just mm -hmm. more Kepler support for secret network. Here we go. And there's a little graphic right here. We'll leave the link below so you can read this article and check out all the improvements that have been made. But you know, the details on chain proposals to better control block times. There we go. Read that. Adjusting gas prices. Take a look. That'd at be that. worth reading. Yep. Yeah. Improving future upgrades. Okay. There was something I was really excited about sharing. Um, this is just such a great article. Ah, here we go. This is kind of an idea. We replace our WASM engine. So many people know that in order to validate secret network, it takes specific hardware, specific computers, very niche. And Guy, this is really beautiful, uh, explains just in a small paragraph, and that's not even the point of this article, but up, it's to update the scaling secrets, is that they wanted, they had an idea of a product, of a vision of being able to provide layer one privacy and being able to integrate it to a larger ecosystem and recognize that there are decisions you could make to wait to do it the long way, or you can do something quick and be ready to make changes at when you're ready and the growth. Right. And that's the point is that the a slower older engine that was made for SGX, the core technology that enables privacy, rather than undertaking long development to adapt to more performant engine, um, that's their initial choice to go with the Wasm. Right. It was a good Just because it was a better fit for the time. At the time, it allowed to launch faster. Uh, but now we have the technology to match adoption. And the point nice. is, is there is an intention to replace the current Wasm engine with the vanilla Cosm Wasm engine, the Wasm that you see on Osmosis on on these mm. other IBC. So. You talk about that's going to be a big deal. Gas fees and security. That should be good for gas fees too, right? And and more validators. It opens it up to, right. to more people being able to support the network. And yeah, absolutely. Gas fees, adoption, very cool. Network effects, growth. This is so Q4. Look, they aim for a Q4 release. So that's this year, later that's on this incredible. year. By the yep. end of this year, potentially, or early next year. Either way, that is right around the corner. What's next? These network improvements are all part of our vision for Shockwave announced. Okay, so they we've talked about Shockwave. There's so much mm -hmm. more coming and they're going to build it out and announce it as it happens. If you're a developer, if you'd like to be a part of this, they do have grants and a secret ecosystem fund. So check it out. We will leave the links below. We also have a video coming out uh, or maybe already come out with it on the secret agent program. So make sure you check out that. It's a very innovative way to help add value, share information and learn the latest. So these AMMs and DEXs are soon to have Jackal, <laughs> Alter, Silk, Silk. And thank you again to Asaf Marami for everything that you do. Make sure you give these people a follow. And you give us a follow if you like this kind of stuff, the latest and greatest. This is not, ed this is educational entertainment information. It's not legal advice, commercial advice, financial advice, marital advice, medical advice. Do your own research. We're just sharing what we understand. And we, there's a lot we don't. And we make mistakes. So we cover things. Sometimes we get it right. Sometimes we get it wrong. Either way, we have fun and we learn. So make sure that what you're doing, you're able to have fun and learn along the way. That That's it? well said. Yeah. Till the next well, time. Next. Have a beautiful day. Yeah. Thank you. Namaste, y'all.